Hey, I'm outside in the backyard garden. I thought I'd give you a quick walk through. Got my shirt on. It says, my dog thinks I'm cool. My son says she does not, but I disagree. Anyway, I'm gonna turn you around. Let's take a look in the garden. So I thought we'd start on this end. This is where I replanted a lot of stuff. And um, the heat, like I said, it's July. It's been terrible. I kind of almost give up. Um, then the storm started and we get the afternoon showers and that seems to be doing the garden a lot of good. Um, <laughs> this is a huge tub and I planted a bunch of corn there because corn hasn't been my thing this year or ever, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep at it. And this thing, look at that. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. So we got that going on there. Behind that, we got a huge tub of carrots. But of course, if you grow carrots, you know it's going to be forever. It's going to be patient. So I'm real happy with how that's going. Got my zucchini here. Seems to be doing really well. Down here, we've got spaghetti squash. What I did notice, though, um, the vines are coming up. I'm starting to see a little couple little flowers, buds on there. But I'm also noticing I've got a lot of little tendrils. So I'm debating whether I should move the vine, replant it over where the trellises are in the end bed, um, in ground bed, and just kind of let it maybe climb. So that's our spaghetti squash. Here we have our crooked neck yellow squash in a tub. And then down here we have the cantaloupe as well. And it's doing good. This is my original watermelon vine. Um, it was doing really poorly, but you can see now it's, since we got all the rain, it's looking a little healthier. So I'm just letting that be and do its thing. I did succession plant a couple more seeds in there just to kind of back up, because you know how that goes. Same thing over here. This is my old um, butternut squash vine. And I did a couple succession seeds in there as well, just to make sure. But since the rain started, I have two little butternut squash on there. And I'm seeing a lot of male flowers are coming up now. So, I'm hoping if we can survive August, we might get something out of that. Pumpkin bed, what can I say? That thing just is doing amazing. So, I am hoping, I don't really know a whole lot. I mean, I'm trying a lot of this stuff for the first time ever. So, I'm not no professional gardener, I'm just kind of winging it. Um, this is my okra plant. And I don't know if you remember from previous videos, it was doing pretty bad. And then I did get like six okra, I think, off of it. And then the rain started and this thing's bushed back out. And I'm noticing that I've got numerous, numerous pods on the plants. So I am hopeful that I'm gonna get some more okra off this. My mom loves okra, so that'd be nice. <laughs> She'll probably take them. She took the last ones, but she had a few okra and she was gonna put them together and make something. Um, the blueberry bush, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know at all about blueberry bushes, so I don't think it looks that good, but I just keep at it. The calamandine, um, super good. And you can see it's got fruit on it. Being in Florida, citrus is probably the way to go. But it's covered in, in fruit. And it's got a lot of new blossoms since the rain started. Yes, I know. I still have it in that little rinky-dink pot. And I need to get it out of there. <laughs> I know better. I did that with my Myers lemon tree, which you'll see behind us. And so I repotted it. And it's in a super huge, this thing is a huge truck. Um, and since I've repotted it, I've seen where it's getting little blossoms. So I, I mean, I've babied this thing since it was tiny. So I'm looking forward to just letting it grow and eventually get it in ground. I mean, it's gonna, I know it's gonna be a while before I ever get lemons, but 
My mama does love her lemons. Down here we have the Kentucky pole beans. And I was really, really happy this morning. I come out last night and saw some climbing. But then I noticed this morning they're using the poles I put in and the trellises. Uh, that one doesn't look so good. I think that one strangled it. But they're climbing up the trellis. I'm so excited. I love new things in the garden. It makes, it makes me happy when I come out here and find good stuff. Not so much when I find bad stuff, but this makes me happy. I might need to pull the poles together so I can climb all the way up. Next to the Kentucky pole beans, we've got our bush beans, and they're just in the garden planter. Um, and they're doing, doing okay. Do you have some space back here for some other stuff I'm gonna work on? And then we we'll walk over here. And in this one, I've got the trellis already in place as well. This is my sugar baby. No, sorry, sugar baby. Sugar snap peas. And I think I planted some snow peas in there, but I don't remember. That was when I was doing my mad gardening. Uh, so, but they're doing a lot better this time. And again, you know, he got them last time. But as long as this rain keeps up, we might have a chance on that. If nothing else, I'm thinking about putting in some uh, shade cloth to kind of protect them, the things that need protecting, because August is going to be a doozy. Um, I did pull out my onions and out of the onion bed. The ground over there was just really sandy, hard, and I wasn't able, I just, they weren't doing well. They're not looking so good here either, but um, we'll see how it goes. Over here is my strawberry plants. I did cut them back quite a bit, got rid of some of the dead stuff. This one did not make it, but I'm hoping those two can survive. Then we're over here in pepper rows, but I like to call it. I have my, and it, again, I pulled four of these out of the end ground. This is um, the purple bell, and I had the prettiest purple bell pepper. And it was getting so close and changing colors and I was really happy and wanting to show everybody. And then some critter took a bite out of it, left the rest of it now. Didn't take it with it, but it just left it, took a big old chunk out. Did not make me happy. Um, these pepper plants I planted, I'm not even sure what variety they are. Um, and there's like four of them in there. So I'm gonna probably need to give them their own spacing and separate them. Cause I put them in a little pot and just kind of toss them over to the side and poof, there they are. Um, the red bell pepper, got the purple over there. I showed you the first time. And this is a red bell pepper. And it's got one on it. I did harvest one already on that one. And then we have the orange bell. It has a handy pepper yet, but I do see some flowering on it. So I'm happy about that. And then the yellow bell is down here. Um, I lost all my tomato plants, all of them, and this is the only one that was left, and I, I, I was like, well, you know what, this is the beefsteak, but I just cut it back and left the twigs, and then look what happened. It's starting to come out again at the top. Now, whether that'll become of anything, I don't know, but we're going to leave it be and let it do it whatever it wants to do. Maybe it has the will to survive like that little hurricane pepper. Um, these are my sweet banana peppers and I've got some flowering going on on those. See over here. And possibly another. Yep. But we've been, with the rains, we've had these really tremendous storms. And with the storms, it's these high winds. You should see my flower beds. They're just been whipped to death, broke some of my marigolds. So, um, and then this one is that little hurricane pepper. It belonged to Izzy and Izzy's old garden. And I repotted it and it looked like it wanted to live. It had the will to survive because this thing went through a hurricane. And look at it, it's putting out these little tiny mini bell peppers. You go, I'm good with you. Something with that much will to survive, deserves to do whatever it wants to in that pot. Down here we have our just regular green bell peppers. Again, 
We're getting some, starting to get some fly on. This water has, the rain has just been great for the garden. Um, this is my sweet peppers. I did harvest a couple. And then you can see I've got like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about five. I think I took a couple off already. But it's putting out so we're, you know, we're happy that I got it staked too because it's in the cage because the wind, mm -mm, bad. Then down here, we have one of my other bell peppers and it's starting to produce again. It's like they've got a second wind. Oh, there's a little pepper coming in, some flowers. Oh, there's another little pepper. More over there, so it looks like we're gonna have some more bell peppers if we can just hang in out through this heat wave or whatever you want to call it. Summer in Florida, basically. Got a little pepper down here. This one here has been my biggest producer, it was just covered in pet peppers, so it's like my favorite. And it's really got a healthy stock, so I'm hoping to keep it for some time. Pull some of the stuff out of here the carrots, there's still some carrots down in here. Um, I transplanted some more okra here, a little backup plant, and, well, let's just say the sunflowers didn't make it, but I have some pepper plants in there. I'm going to go on around here to the beans. I'm growing black-eyed peas, and I'm no professional gardener, so I can't tell you a whole lot, but at the rate I'm going, I have some little flowers little flowers. Um, shelling these. I might have enough to make one bowl <laughs> eventually. The row of, these are all eggplant. And they didn't seem to do very well except for this one. But you can see those behind it. This one must have been in a good spot because it popped right up. Um, haven't had any um, eggplants yet. But I got really excited this morning and I walked out. Look at all the flowers. You know, to me, it's one of the most exciting things. The garden changes almost daily. And I know you probably won't believe that, but it's the truth. And I get excited when I walk out here and find new things. These are the sugar baby watermelon vines. I still have two sugar babies on there. probably going to come out soon, but I did, we eat one, <laughs> or ate one, and me and my granddaughter, it was the tiniest watermelon ever, so I need, I did this section already, but I have to clear out this entire thing again, um, that's where I pulled the peppers up, down here is where, this was the potato bed, and I already harvested all those, but we're going to clear this out and Kind of rethink what we want to do in this area again. I still have the trellises, and I'm to, honestly, I'm thinking about maybe moving uh, some of my like my squashes and stuff to this area, so they just have room on the ground. And then, like at the cantaloupe and the pumpkin, I think was had all the tendrils. Maybe running the string back and forth and just letting it. Kind of climb around in here because I don't really know what else to do with this. So, so that's I'm just a lot of thought processing, but all right. So that pretty much covers the garden tour here on today, which is July 30th. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, you know, you can see, or if you have some, you know, helpful hints, you know, with things that work in your garden or some suggestions, I'm really open to that. I mean, I'm happy with everything that's going on out here. Um, like I said, though, I'm just kind of winging it. I get inspired by watching other YouTubers' garden videos, and I'm trying my hand at it. You know, if it puts some food on the table, or just some extra stuff. It's my hobby, um, and I do it on my off days, and, and it's very stress relieving to garden. But you know, if you get some fruits and vegetables, and there's something about growing your own stuff. It's just, 
I don't know, to me, it's exciting. I enjoy, like, just coming out here and taking something with tomato or, you know, whatever popped up and eating it or cooking it. And it's exciting to know that I grew that. So if you're not gardening, <laughs> you know, you might want to try your hand at it. I mean, I'm doing it and I'm just a novice gardener. All right, it is extremely, extremely hot out here. So I am just gonna turn this around easy. I am just overheated and it's not even 9.30 yet. All right. Guys, I just wanted to say good morning, have a great weekend, um, and give you a little quick update. Hope to see you soon.